Hey, Bridal Town. Uh, welcome back. It's uh, another devotional time here. Uh, I'm coming at you with uh, Psalms 1, 1 to 3, okay? Uh, Blessed is the man who walks not in the way or in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by streams of water that is yielded that yields its fruit in its season, and it does not wither. In all that he does, he prospers. All right, so what does this mean for us? It means that if we are like the blessed man who does not sit in the seat of the, or who does not counsel, uh, sit in, who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, who does not stand in the way of sinners, and no, nor sit in the seat of scoffers, but delight in the law of the Lord, then we are going to be blessed men. We are going to be the, we are going to be righteous. All right. Uh, we're going to be seen as as separate from regular um, wicked people, okay? Uh, and in that time, we're going to be like a tree uh, that's planted by streams of water. So what, is it, what does it mean to be a tree planted by streams of water? We're going to be growing and producing all year uh, because we are um, right near the water source and right near all of our nutrients. Uh, uh, it also says that we yield our fruit in its in its season. Uh, yields its fruit in its season. Um, so that means that we're always not always going to be in harvest time. We're not always going to be able to do everything that we set out to do. We aren't always going to be able to go um, and just bring in tons of people to Christ. Um, it's not always going to be that way. Um, sometimes it's pretty tough. Sometimes it goes really well. Um, even Billy Graham, when he started out. Uh, he wasn't bringing in tons and tons of people because he was trying to do it in his own power. He wasn't um, pushing forward with the spirit. Um, okay, and the last part that I want to get to here is uh, if you're feeling like you're beat up and you're bruised and you're um, getting a little wounded by life, um, that's okay. That doesn't mean that you're not going to be producing good fruit. That doesn't mean that you're not able to move out of that season and go into producing good fruit. Sometimes it actually means that you can be pushed into a season of producing good fruit. Um, the sycamore tree, actually, um, it, for its fruit to be found good um, during the harvest, it actually had to be wounded or bruised in the season when it was getting ready. Um, so the, if there was actually somebody that would go around with an iron comb and he would just scrape each fig or each, I think they were figs, each one of the fruit on the sycamore tree. Um, and if, if he did not do that, then the fruit would not be good enough when it came to harvest time that they could eat it. So if you're feeling like you're, you're beat up and battered right now, that's okay. Sometimes that's necessary for us to move forward in our faith. Sometimes it's necessary for us to produce good fruit in our later seasons. All right. Let's have some time of prayer and then uh, we'll get out of here. God, we want to thank you for the time that you uh, you allow us to do this with each other, um, that we can still connect with each other even though we're separate physically. I pray that you just continue to work in our lives, continue to bless us in so many ways that you do. I pray that you just help us be a light to the people around us and help us to, have, to see when it's our season of productiveness to come. I pray that you'd help us to see when the harvest is here and uh, be willing to work for you in, the, in that time. God, I pray that you just give us the boldness to move forward with our faith and share it with the people around us in all the times that we see, um, whether, we, whether we're feeling a special uh, blessing of our harvest or not, uh, we would just continue to push forward for you. In your name we pray. Amen. Thanks, Brown Town. Have a great day.